Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. Some of our northwestern areas dropped down into the upper 30s last night. Not going to be the case for tonight. Increasing cloud cover keeps us more on the mild side, but does lead to our next storm chance that will keep us on the cooler side for the next couple of days. But as we look ahead to Memorial Day weekend, warmer temperatures make their return. We'll be back to around right around 80 degrees. Hustle and bustle outside of Junction City right now for their run for the wall event right around Heritage Park there. And it's a gorgeous day to go out and check that out. And really, there's hardly a cloud in the sky in the Little Apple and across the entire region. That also includes us right here in the capital city as we are currently sitting at 71 degrees with a westerly wind at 9 miles per hour. A nice rebound after a morning low of 45 degrees. Most of us across the region are in the 70s. One exception, though, being Hiawatha. You're at 68 degrees right now, 70 on the dot for Burlington, 73 for Junction City, and 70 also is the case at Marysville. Now, the abundance of sunshine helped to warm us up today into the lower 70s, and there is a bit of a westerly wind as well at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. This will subside slightly overnight tonight, so we're not talking about a breezy night by any means as you wake up tomorrow morning to kick off the brand new work week. Winds pick up slightly out of the southwest, though. They'll be at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Look at what happens, though, as we turn the clock closer to Tuesday. We're stopping here at midnight. You see those southwesterly winds now slamming in with northwesterly winds. That's our next cold front that's going to push through and gives us our second round of precipitation for tomorrow. I'll break down that first round coming up. Taking a look across the country, though, you can see just how unsettled it is along the eastern half of the country to our south and off to our northwest. Right here in the Sunflower State, though, nice and quiet. We are feeling the effects of high pressure building in over us, and that's why we've seen hardly a cloud in the sky as well. And satellite and radar, as you take a closer look, reflects that beautifully. Again, plenty of sunshine to close out your Sunday. However, as we get into the overnight hours tonight, we'll see the cloud cover increase, and we'll see the chance of showers and storms return across the region as well. This is stopping here at 1230 for your lunchtime plans. Now, we have to keep a close eye on tomorrow. It is a bit of a tricky forecast. Forecast. Depending on how long these showers and storms last, the duration of them could hinder how strong some of the showers and storms get later on. I think during the afternoon hours, though, we'll get a break in the rain for some spots. So we'll become more hit and miss. As that cold front moves through Monday evening, though, this is 10 o'clock, our northwestern areas have the best shot of seeing some stronger storms. But overall, the chance of severe weather looks to be relatively low with those rain chances spilling over into Tuesday, stopping here at 6 a.m. Still can Tending with some spotty showers. Tonight, though, all is quiet, just dealing with increasing cloud cover as we drop down to a low of 52 degrees. And our KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast shows that cool down to go along with those shower and storm chances. 60s for Tuesday and Wednesday. But look at the nice rebound we have leading into Memorial Day weekend. We'll be back in the 70s and 80s, but could have a couple shots of some showers and storms come Friday and Saturday, too. We'll keep you posted on that.